As our final step, we are going to actually make this board using a fabrication company called Smart Prototyping. Now, before we can do that, though, we need to send them the board in a format that the fab can understand. So, first thing I'm going to do is we have our project open. I'm going to go to File, Fabrication Output, and Gerber Files. Now, the defaults are fine. Uh, so, the 2 to 5. In Layers, make sure you have all layers on. And the rest of this, you can just leave as defaults. Press OK. And you'll notice in your Project tab, you have this new uh, .cam file. And so we can take a quick look at what each of these are and almost take a guess as to what it is based on looking at it. So this seems to be the the silk. This, these look like the capacitors. Um, we know uh, mechanical one is our board outline. This is probably our top layer, TL, so all of our signals and stuff like that. Bottom layer, this guy. Uh, TS, this is most likely our top, let's see, let's take this off. This looks like our top TS, top solder mask. Okay, this is our top solder mask. Uh, then we have our, this looks like our bottom silk. And that looks like our um, assembly. So cool. Just to kind of play around and see what what each of these files we're sending to the fab contains. So I'm going to go back to my PCB doc, and we are going to export a second file, which is our. NC drill file. This should be all fine. Click OK. And this will basically tell the fab for each of the vias where to drill a hole. The last thing we are going to output is going to be for you guys when you get this board back in order to put it together. So assembly output and assembly drawing. And you will want to go ahead and print this out. Um, and we will basically print this, put each of the components down on the sheet of paper, and then move them over to the board one by one. But this will help you align where's pin one, what capacitors go where. Uh, and it's just much easier than, than kind of pulling one component at a time. Let's go ahead and print this. Now let's actually go and find these files. So I'm going to go to Explore. And we can check out this Project Outputs folder. And this is where all of our drill and Gerber files are all on here. I'm just going to go ahead and zip this. And just to make it easy for me, I'll drag it to my desktop. Perfect. So this is smart prototyping. Uh, they essentially do fabrication of PCB boards. They'll create stencils, uh, which help with the assembly process. And you guys will use that at some point in the future. They can also do the assembly. They can source parts, uh, do the testing, the programming. Uh, for now, we're just going to have them create the actual PCB board. So these are the defaults, uh, two layers, because you guys have two layers, the maximum size. They will send five boards. Um, I'm, I'm pretty cool, so I'm going to make a board that's black. And you'll see it's the same price. Mm, this is all fine. And let's go ahead and upload our file. 
Okay. Go ahead, add to cart. And at this point, you can check out and the board will reach you in about, you know, one to two weeks.